Okay, this is going to be a really short video. This is just to answer a question. I seem to get, a, <laughs> I've been getting a lot more. Uh, people have noticed, you know, I use flux in syringes sometimes. Um, they asked about, well, it's not in a, you know, like a factory tube. And I have to explain, or somebody has seen my big tube, but they see that I never use the big tube. I'm always using smaller syringes. So, to answer the question, yes. Buy in bulk, like anything, buy in quantity, it's cheaper. Um, so I buy my fluxes in l very large syringe tubes because it's a lot cheaper this way. But these are very inconvenient to use because trust me, when the plunger's out the whole way, you're trying to hold this big thing and you're working on surface mount where the parts are the size of fly droppings, trying to yeah without oh, trying to push this plunger in, yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Tiny syringes, you know, smaller, smaller, or even smaller yet. These little tiny ones are great for working on really small parts, but. How do you get it from here to there without wasting all of it? Because <laughs> that's, yeah, just trying to pull the plunger out and push it in. And then you're going to end up with an air pocket. And it's just a, a mess. It's real simple, people. You need an adapter. Kind of thing this doesn't have any color. It's clear plastic. But uh, <laughs> uh, this is called, because all syringes, or at least you know the medical syringes and stuff like this, they have these twists, so it actually screws on. You can see I unscrew that, so that's the same way these tips come off of these, okay? They just screw in, and that's called a lower lock fitting. Get pen and paper handy. That is spelled L-U-E-R space L-O-C-K. So lower lock, L-U-E-R L-O-C-K. I assume that's how it's pronounced. Um... And wait a little couple of work. These I think they cost like at least when I bought them, um, I got like ten of them a couple years ago on eBay. <laughs> if you look on eBay, just look for lore lock coupler because that's what it is. It couples two syringes together, and that's it. That's the secret to getting the not making a mess. Take the coupler, screw it on the. Actually, I don't want to fill that one. That's already full. Eh, this one's going down some. We'll fill this one up. And you just take the other syringe, like that, and you just take the plunger, and you know, if you watch back here, you'll see, whoop, just transfer the stuff over, grab your tip, screw it back on, put the cap back on, and now, the thing is, I can take this and put it in a refrigerator, and it'll last a lot longer. So, you know, the only stuff that I have on the bench are what I'm using basically on you know, here I'm using on a daily basis but you know your solder paste and your solder flux paste you can buy in larger quantities stick this in the fridge in the back you know out of the way and it'll last longer it won't expire as fast at least that's what I've been told most and from what I understand most companies do that they keep their fluxes and solder paste refrigerated but uh, yeah that's it just go to like eBay I'm sure you can get them on Amazon or there's probably a bunch of places that sell these things, but I just know eBay has them. Um, now, you can get these in plastic and in metal. I saw the brass ones, and I did not get those specifically because, well, I'm dealing with flux. And, of course, flux is kind of, oh, it's kind of corrosive. I mean, it's meant to be activated with a soldering iron. You know, you heat it up, and it... it eats the corrosion off of the copper traces. That's how it cleans. It's kind of caustic when you heat it up. But yeah, not knowing chemical reactions and whatnot, I didn't want to get these things in brass for fear the darn thing is going to turn into a block of green grunge. So if I get the polypropylene plastic ones, yeah, and I've been using this one for years. I just, like right now, I'm done with it. I'll grab a you know, foam swab i just run it through one time basically okay it's clean i just toss this over on the side of the bench there and you know next time i need to fill these up i just reach over grab it run the refrigerator grab this stuff i can fill up but there you go lower lock l-u-e-r l-o-c-k that or coupler and that's all you need save yourself some money buy in quantity and then you can buy whatever size syringes you want empty on ebay um another thing god this video is getting longer than i want it all already uh because somebody's asked one other time, and it's a good time to bring it up. We're dealing with these syringes. Uh, a lot of people see people using the syringe tips that are metal. So it's a solid, it has a little plastic piece on the end that screws in. But it looks like a normal syringe, you know, like the doctor would be jabbing into your arm. They're just blunt on the end. 
and they want to know why don't I use those why because it's hard to push product this stuff is a gel those needle syringe because you got to remember we're using small tip I don't want a big I don't need a cattle needle or something that big in diameter I need to apply a tiny amount for doing surface mount stuff so I need a tiny hole in the end the problem is if you get those uh, syringe tips that are blunt on the end in metal well that tube is that diameter the entire length so there's a lot of you know, internal friction there trying to push that product through that tiny little passage where these are big for the majority of it they're only that tiny little hole just at the tip trust me try one of those and then get one of these plastic tips within the exact same size at the end you'll find how much easier it is you'll be uh, you know sh hand will be shaking trying to push stuff through one of those metal ones with these here it's just oop, it just it, it's so much easier and you can get these in all different sizes and they're cheap really 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 cheap so yeah these i just every because occasionally i'll melt the end accidentally with a solder and iron because they're getting used all the time but yeah and if you want a bigger hole honestly you can do like this one here you'll see the tip looks a little bit bigger well, because that actually flares out like an ice cream cone, or, you know, just a cone, the hole gets bigger the farther back you get in here. So if you cut the end of it off, you've increased the hole in the end, you know, in the end of it. So, you know, you can buy one size, like a tiny size, and then just trim off just a little bit off the end if you need a bigger hole. That way you only need to buy one size of these tips, and you can make the hole whatever size you want just by cutting off with a razor blade just a tiny bit off the end of it you know cut cut it to suit your needs at the time so there you go plastic tips just easier to get the stuff out lore lock adapter makes it easy to get the product from the big one into the small ones